Hey guys, it's Travis. I'm just an average guy trying to do above average things. In this video, I'm going to show you how I added a luxury basement bathroom. Stay to the end for the reveal. First, I laid out my design. I used a free floor plan tool I found online. Be sure to account for door swing. I was concerned swinging door may get in the way of the vanity, so I opted for a pocket door, as you will see later. Be sure to pull the proper permits before you get started with your project. Next, I cleaned the floor, then laid out my floor plan on the concrete. I used a chalk line followed by a sharpie and a T-square so the lines stayed in place while framing. I carefully measured for the pocket door frame and cut the studs I needed to remove in the middle. Then carefully pulled them straight back. The screws should pull out with no damage to the finished side of the wall. Then carefully cut and remove the bottom plate. I had a beam directly over the doorway, so I couldn't use the full pocket door frame. I had to disassemble it, and then the beam became the top part of the frame, and the slide connected directly to the beam. After the frame was installed, I cut out the drywall. After installing the pocket door frame and resecuring the drywall to the frame, I hung the pocket door and filled the new screw holes. Then I trimmed the finished side of the door so it looked decent while I finished the bathroom. Having this door in place also helps keep the dust from getting all over the rest of the basement. My bathroom had the rough plumbing already done by the builder, however it was plumbed for a smaller bathroom with a shower. Seeing as how I was adding a large tub, I decided to make the bathroom larger. This required the drain to be moved and concrete to be removed in that area. I found the fastest, cheapest, and cleanest way to remove the concrete was by drilling holes around the perimeter with a hammer drill excavating some of the rock from under the concrete and then just using a heavy sledgehammer. I hired a plumber for all the rough plumbing. Here's the final tub drain before covering and here is the move drain with the hole filled. The walls were framed with standard 2x4 construction with Tapcon screws in the concrete. I boxed in the HVAC with 2x2s to try to save some weight, material, and space. Here's the rough plumbing installed for the sink, toilet, and tub filler. Both the outlets and lighting circuit over the tub are GFI protected. I hung all the drywall myself using green board for added mold and mildew resistance. This was my first time actually finishing drywall. I just took my time and made sure it was as good as I could get it before texturing. As you can see, I made a huge mess. Now I know why most people hire professionals. Next, I primed the walls and covered the floor with paper to reduce cleanup. Then I sprayed a knockdown texture, then primed again, and painted. Priming before ensures that the texture looks the same on the seams as it does on the rest of the drywall paper. For the flooring, I laid down insulating foam underlayment, followed by the same luxury vinyl plank I have in the rest of the basement. I made faux shiplap using quarter inch plywood ripped in strips. It saved a fair amount of money while getting a similar look. I trimmed out the room and installed the plumbing fixtures myself. For the tub, I used a PVC drain coupling similar to the one pictured. The tub is held down with construction adhesive and silicone caulk around the base. Lastly, I installed a tin drop ceiling to cover up all the plumbing and wiring. Your patience will now be rewarded with the final reveal. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. I hope you really enjoyed it. Please subscribe for more videos like this.